Hey, hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian over here at the Little Orchard Farm. Hey, welcome to today's video. Christmas is behind us. It's in the rear view mirror and we're looking forward to the new year and we hope you're looking forward to a brand new year as well. Well, today, well, for the last several days actually, the weather has just been uncooperative to say the least. Really wanted to get out and start laying the bunks for our sawmill and, uh, and get that sawmill up and running and, and starting to cut a few trees. But the rain has just been off and on for the last several days. Uh, it started right after Christmas. And so we've had a couple of days of just some, some nasty kind of weather. And the next three or four days is supposed to be wet as well. So I'm not going to be able to get out and do some of the things on this, uh, on this sawmill that I really wanted to do. So in the meantime, what I thought I'd do is I'd take you back. Um, it was a couple of days before Christmas, actually, that I um, that Karen had come and said, "Hey, listen, we've got we've got this massive burn pile over here, and there uh, and it's got nails and screws and all these things in it. And I'd love to have a a box sifter made so that we can sift through that." And I thought, "What a great idea!" So several um, several days ago. I built her a box sifter. So I thought what I would do is, since I can't get out and, and do any work on the sawmill, is I'd share that build with you and show you how we use it and what we do, uh, uh, what uh, how we how we utilize that particular little tool. Really simple build, but man, it was it turned out to be a really cool build. So anyway, check it out, and we will be back. Uh, after the new year with another video hopefully with some dry weather and we're going to start pounding away at cutting some trees up using that my woodland mills hm126 portable saw mill i'm super stoked about it and uh i, I hope you are as well and would love to have you guys follow us so before i jump into showing you how to build a box sifter if you are not subscribed to our channel I encourage you, pop that subscription button below and ring the bell so that you're notified when we release our videos. And come along for the journey, man. We're, we're two, uh, two, two newbies that have jumped out into the homesteading world, and we're attempting to create our own little homestead. We started out by building our own cabin. We progressed up and built our had tag team with some people <laughs> to build our own barn and uh, we've got a lot of other stuff to go so we'd love for you to join us anyway here's uh here's a uh, the video from a couple of uh, days ago uh, of us building a box sifter enjoy one of the things that i wanted to try to get done today is i'd like to build a um, a sifting box now a sifting box uh, can be used for multiple things other than just sifting, um, but we're going to primarily use it as a sifter. Now, uh, as I mentioned, could be used for multiple things. Could be used as a um, uh, as a place to um, uh, store your seedling cups. You could place those in there. Uh, it could be used as a drying rack uh, for greens and so forth. And so, a sifting rack or a sifter has multiple purposes, but the really big one that we want to be using it for is to sift through some of the dirt uh, from our burn piles. Now, a couple of, couple of weeks ago, we, uh, we were throwing all of our materials, our old scrap wood, the, the uh, uh, tree branches and things of that nature that had fallen around the cabin, uh, anything that would uh, burn. Uh, I think we may have even thrown some cardboard boxes in here. We put it into this burn pile and we burned it. And it burned up pretty darn well. A couple of logs still left over here. But for the most part, it burned down. But here was the issue. Let me uh, flip you around. And I want to show you what we, what some of the remnants looked like, okay? So here's what we ended up getting. Look, let me show you this. Look at there. See those metal pieces? All these metal pieces came from some of the old rafters that we burned. You can see nails, you can see screws, there's some screws. Right over here, there was some, uh, oh, right over here. Let me show you this one, there you go. We had some screws with some washers. And then there was this little gadget right over here, which I've yet to identify. I have no idea what this was. Um, <laughs> I, 
I really don't know what that is. Uh, certainly, that looks like a uh, some door hinges from a from a door. I think I don't remember throwing a door in here, but okay. Uh, and so, to any extent, we just had we have a lot of metal uh, that is in here, and this is good. This is really good uh, dirt. Really, really good dirt. We want to use this dirt up in the garden. Uh, so we need to get it up into the composting area and let it start breaking down some more with this char. Uh, man, this ash will be very, very good for our soil health. All right, well, that's the plan today. Let's build a sifter. Got a lot to do. Let's do this. <laughs> The primary goal is to build a sifter. Now, how are we going to use the sifter? Well, the sifter is going to sit, I think, on the bucket, on the bucket of the tractor. And so I'm going to take a measurement here in a little while because I envision the, the sifter sitting on the bucket, uh, us being able to shovel into the sifter and then being able to take the sifter and move it back and forth across to sift into the dirt into the bucket. That's the goal. Uh, and so we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see how that kind of turns out. Um, we were at the Mail Mall last night, Karen and I, and we were looking at. I actually had to pick up uh, the materials for the sifter, uh, and I decided just to peek over and take a look at lumber prices. And um, they said lumber was coming down. <laughs> Uh, two by fours, yes. I think uh, a standard stud two by four probably was within 40 cents, 50 cents, probably of maybe a normal price in my opinion. Um, here in the States, we pay about, about four and a half dollars, US dollars, somewhere in that neighborhood and, and um, t today. So it was like $4.58, I believe. Generally speaking, those are $4, maybe even sub $4.00. Um, and so the, uh, the inflation is still hitting us pretty hard. And so when I went over and I looked at the one by six material, which is what I would like to make our sifters out of, I said, there ain't no way I'm paying 10 or $11, $11 for a one by six by eight. That's insane. So what I thought I would do is I brought a couple of pieces of the leftover board and batten in. And what I'm going to do is um, the distance from, if you, sh if you take the batten off, this distance right here is six inches, six inches. So that gets me a one by six. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use, uh, the old board and batten material, uh, for my sifter boxes. Whew. Now then, for the cloth, well, the cloth I had to buy. And so what I did was I, the sifting cloth. What I am going to use, I'm actually going to build two sifters. Uh, one sifter is going to be uh, using hardware cloth. Hardware cloth has really, really small, tiny little squares. Quarter inch squares, in fact. And so hardware cloth is what we're going to use on the burn pile that's over that I just showed you that has all the screws and the washers and all the metal all the metal um, shavings and whatnot. Um, I'm going to build a second one, though. I'm going to build a second one because we have some additional sifting needs that might not require quite the fine sifting. And, and that would be using cage wire. Uh, most, a lot of people call it rabbit wire. Uh, but this is one-by-one one, uh, squares. And both of these are two feet, uh, two feet in uh, width. And so, obviously, my box is probably going to be two feet wide. Uh, and then um, I think I'm going to probably make them, I don't know, uh, maybe four foot, three foot long. Um, I'll figure that out. Uh, but that's the two materials that we're going to be using. Uh, I'll be using some um, fencing staples and some, um, uh, some regular staples, material staples, uh, I think to put this on, or at least that's the game plan. We're living and learning, right? Living and learning. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, and so I'm going to get the uh, saw set up, and uh, we're going to start ripping down some of our uh, old, uh, uh, our leftover board and batten, and get some raw materials together. I'm going to take a few measurements, and we're going to knock this thing out. 
I'll just do this. Ugh. Let's get our cut list put together. Our, our dimensional, um, we'll cut our, our lumber to dimension. 43 inches for the long side, 23 and 3 eighths for the short sides. And then we'll get back over here and we'll screw them together and we'll make our sifter frame. All right, so I ran up and I picked up some um, some fencing staples. I think these are quarter inch quarter inch fencing staples, which is awesome because I believe that those are going to work just fine. And so I've gone through and I have stapled this obviously to the frame, but now I'm going to come back through and I'm going to attach a few of these staples here and just so, just secure it in. Just like that, be a little bit sturdier than the than the uh, staples are, uh, but I think I'll just do a few across there. But that's, that's how you create a really simple sift box, a sifting box. Um, again, not a lot to it. I probably, I probably would have wanted to use a little bit thicker wood. This is a uh, board and batten, so it's running a little bit less than three quarter inch, um, like a five eighths. And so it would have been nice to have that additional eighth of an inch or so thickness on the board. I think it would have added a little bit more stability to it. But we'll see how it holds up. Um, it's a pretty uh, inexpensive, um, uh, inexpensive build. So if I have to make a little modification, if I have to come back and maybe put a brace piece of wood, a facing piece to strengthen it, add a little bit of rigidity, it's no worries. I can do that. No worries. Well, anyway, listen guys, I'll show you a little bit of the footage of us doing some sifting uh, here after, the, uh, after it dries out a little bit. This is how we do it right here. Sift it through. Get our whole burn pile metal free. Take some of this great dirt up to the garden area. See how it does.
So that is some really nice fine dirt right there. That'll make a great top dressing for our, for our uh, garden. Very nice. Well, there you have it. A simple sifter box to be used across the farm to get rid of all those metal pieces, the shavings, the nails, the screws, uh, any of the other things that we do not want in our garden or to be applied in landscaping or wherever the case might be. It's always a, if there's a way that our RTV tire is going to find some metal or something that creates a flat, we'll find it. I almost guarantee it. We've had several flats on the RTV. Well, that's going to do it for today. Guys, we hope you have a wonderful week and a very blessed week. And coming up on the New Year's, man, this weekend is New Year's. Have a wonderful New Year. Until we see you again the next time, we will. See ya.